Hi, I'm John Yee. I'm one of the applications people here at uh, Berkeley Nucleonics. And I wanted to introduce you to uh, our latest digital delay generator, a 20-channel digital delay generator. So the implication here is that in order to get 20 channels, you'd have to get five of these boxes stacked on one another. Uh, just think of the rack space that that entails. Um, we're, we're improving that situation a lot by now having it all in a single rack mount unit, which I'm showing you here. The rack mount unit has a nice touchscreen display um, so that you can, you, can, you can see the front panel controls um, as well as having a GUI that can control up to 60 channels. Here's a picture of the rear panel and it shows you all the inputs, the outputs, as well as the local area network control and all that. But let, let me highlight some of the, some of the uh, connectors. These are the clock in and the clock out connectors. The clock in, as I have mentioned before, can be anywhere between 10 and 100 megahertz um, to the nearest 100 kilohertz. Uh, when you have a clock in, you can also have the, the, that particular clock buffered to the clock out. If you're using the internal clock, then that is available on the clock out. The, uh, the next screen will show you the local area network port. As I mentioned before, you can have one computer screen uh, show the controls of uh, up to 64 channels. This picture shows you how we configure the uh, 20 output channels. Right now, these are B and C connectors and, um, for the electrical outputs, but they can be converted to uh, optical connectors for optical outputs um, so that's that's also an option uh, I did mention that if you're using uh, optical outputs um, you can have resolution you can have an optional uh, resolution of one picoseconds uh, very very many people that use optical outputs take advantage of the fast rise time of the, of the optical signal um, to, uh, to time to the one picosecond resolution. The T0 output is basically a reference signal. Uh, it is either in sync with the internal rep rate generator that you choose if you uh, if you're choosing uh, if you're choosing one, or it's in sync with the external trigger that you provide uh, at one of the uh, at, at the trigger input. Okay. This uh, next next picture is of the trigger input. Um, this is the external trigger uh, that um, triggers external events. We have. Um, as I mentioned before, we have uh, two external trigger possibilities. Going back to the front panel, it is equipped with a touch screen display for ease of operation. Note that the display also has 20 LEDs that tell you which of the channels are on and which of the channels are off. At the bottom, there is a run stop button that also functions as a single cycle push button for manually initiating an event. There are also three front panel auxiliary connectors that can serve as inputs or outputs depending on your application. The intent was to make them uh, user customizable, but please contact the factory about that. I wanted to talk more about um, our display since our office manager 
Kristen, who likes to see everything on one screen, recognize the convenience of all this. But I'll let Kristen speak for herself. What I like about this display is that I can see the important properties of all 20 channels on one screen, namely the trigger mode for each channel, its delay, amplitude, and width. Each of the 20 channels may have its own trigger mode, external trigger, internal, single cycle, and remote push button. The internal trigger mode includes three internal frequencies that you may select from.